some secret plan that none of us can understand. Let's go, Survivor Island. To Men vs. Women. To Pacific Islands. What are we even watching? More than 5,000 miles from the UK. One will be inhabited by 14 British men, while a separate island will be home to 14 British women. They're British? Though, <laughs> I feel like they're about to let down their empire. <laughs> when pushed to the limits of human endurance, will it be brute power? Yeah, let's see how accurate all the videos are saying all the women were useless and all the men were great and drama free from that video we watched ages ago. Let's see if it's actually accurate. For mental strength that wins the day, who will have what it takes to stay alive? Tonight, we follow the men. I'm not sure, this is one. Oh wait, today. is he the guy who drank boiled piss? Are you killing, is it that guy? I've only saw a meme about it one time. Can't survive without men's inventions. Good luck. <laughs> what? We've never been further oh my from God. our hunter-gatherer origins. I actually never watched him in anything, so I had no idea who he was. Peter into shutting up and getting in line. Yes, I watched the the like the man one where some dude's narrating it ages ago. So I wanted to actually see if it was like accurate to what he was saying. So. Oh. But I want to know, when stripped of everything, has modern man still got that instinct to survive? To find out, I'm marooning 14 ordinary men on a desert island. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This could be the worst decision we've ever made. This time, it'll be harder than... Yeah, I've seen a lot of mix that there's not enough stuff in your urine to hydrate you. Urine to hydrate you or something? Ever. They'll have to endure six weeks in the height of the harsh tropical storm season. Bring it on, Mother Nature, I say. If this is the worst you can do. They will be utterly alone, filming everything themselves. We have two choices. One, we go down the 40 foot ravine. Holy shit! Ooh! Ooh! We keep going through this arsehole of a jungle. They'll have to find their own water and hunt for their own food. You just caught a prehistoric animal! You lazy bunch of bone idol bastards! Have these mob- Damn. The boys look like they're gonna get hurt. Monday men got what it takes to survive. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have a bunch of GoPros, honestly, yeah. But when did this come out, actually? <sighs> That's the hardest thing I've done. wrong with a trusty machete at your side? I personally don't think men are as strong now as they were, I wouldn't even say 50 years ago, even five years ago, because we have it too easy. Uh, the interesting question... So five plus years old, okay. No, <laughs> we have it too easy, guys. The question to ask, actually, is if we lost everything, what would happen to us? It'd be nice to think I've come off the island feeling a little bit more macho, a little bit more alpha male. A little more popular with the ladies. <laughs> I just love that. It's like his wish list. I want to be more macho, a bit more alpha male, a bit more popular with the ladies. <laughs> like, it's just like <laughs> such a innocent man. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see a survival like this in Australia because it's so fucking dry and hot. I'm about to abandon these men on a remote Pacific island to see if they can survive. They will be utterly alone. My eldest lad's 19 is at university. He only needs me for money and a lift. And the youngest one's too cool to hang around with dad. My dream is for them guys to go, that's my dad, that. That's fantastic. My dad did that. Oh, he wants his son to want to spend, sons want to play the time with him. That's so sweet. My sons just like, think they're too cool to hang out with me. Dad, where are you? On a holiday? <laughs> On an adventure item island? <laughs> 
don't think I've done anything that's put myself at risk, really. But I'm scared he's sticking a graphic designer on an island with no other skills whatsoever. Anything can happen. He's gonna be useless like me. We're graphic designers. <laughs> These 14 ordinary men do not know each other and they have no experience of living in the wild. At the moment, I don't enjoy day-to-day -day life. I've got a I think he's gonna be out first because he looks like with the hat and stuff. I feel like I'm guessing a little douchebaggy, but I could be wrong. Stressful job. I've got a newborn baby at home. I want to go out on the island to get away from the day to day bullshit. I hate my life. I have a new baby. Whew, I hope his wife didn't fucking see this. Like, I think everyone in life does take certain things for granted. Electricity when you turn on the light, having a warm shower. Now, having... you saw with his douchebag hat that I was assuming he was going to take it too serious and be like the guy who's like, oh, I'm so good at everything, etc. for some reason. Breakfast, when it's not there and you wake up in the morning and go, where's the next meal coming from? It's a man test, isn't it? <laughs> OK, guys, we're getting closer. You are very remote. I don't know about Indonesia. They have monkeys that will, like, rip your fucking face off. That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> the next stop that way is New Zealand. Okay. New Zealand? What island is this? They're on the island outside of New Zealand? What I want to find out is, has all of this cushioning that civilization has experienced over the last 50 years made us totally lose touch with that survival instinct that I believe is deep within us all? Just in an island outside of Australia. Is that their big I'm getting a thing? Is this Australian island outside? Because we have tons of little islands all around the place. Okay, guys, I need you to be my eyes for any rocks. There are loads of rocks here. It takes an extreme situation to find out what people are really made of. What you're about to embark on, it will be the to toughest. Be fair, we have a funny island here that has people that have never come in contact with another person. Ooh. Thing you will ever do. You can do this, all right? You can do it. The men's home for the next six weeks is an uninhabited island in a remote Pacific archipelago. The 11 kilometers of coastline is dominated by treacherous cliffs and rocky headlands. Yep, it's one of the little islands. Ca Apparently they are cannibalistic, but they you're not supposed to make contact with them because they have no immune builds up. But yeah, they've killed anyone that's like come to their island. That's all we know. Vicious swells and powerful ocean currents means there's no easy way onto the island. I'm gonna try and get you guys as close as I can, all right? But you will end up swimming. If any of you guys are weak swimmers, it is a good time to say. I've never swum this distance before, not even in a swimming pool, but I will get there. I will get there. Age won't stop me doing this. It's not often in one's life someone actually challenges your morals, challenges you physically. And this that guy has a GoPro on his head. That's why I want to do it. Who can swim confidently? Confident with unconfident, yeah? Let's go. Men must make the 75 meter swim to the island fully clothed. 70. That's not that m far. I get there is a lot of like, I would, I would say the current's more of a problem, but 75 meters isn't very long Each other. in a swimming pool. Help those who are weaker. Get back, get let's back. go, let's go. Yeah, the fully dressed is a big problem too, I would agree. Strong undercurrents mean the men need to get to shore as quickly as possible. Get in! They're so excited. <laughs> to be fair, this is like the thing that guys talk about doing all the time. So I would imagine it's like a big thing because it takes your shit talking from theory to reality. Very interesting. Not much further. If that's only a taste of what we got to come then. Yeah, swimming in a shirt is more tiring. So I, I feel like it's not even the meters. It's just like the clothes plus the current is going to be an ass. Bring it on, Mother Nature! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? 
Well, the, the advice is to save your own piss, uh, which is a bit unnerving. With only two days survival training, initiative will be key. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Essentially, it's water, isn't it? Is that your piss? That's my piss, mate. You've got to save it for <laughs> Yeah, yeah, save, been told anyway. save your piss. <laughs> Drink your own piss. <laughs> I hope not. So, they look a bit like a party of drowned rats at the moment. Kind of let the chaos begin. This guy has ruined many people's lives with that piss advice. Uh, but what I do know is when I return in six weeks' time, the 14 men, if there's still 14 men there, which, to be honest, I doubt, the men that do remain will be changed. It's time for me and the crew to leave. We won't be back until the end of the experiment. For the next six weeks. Yeah, the that's the thing. You would hope if you fail, you would uh, they would pull you out. That's why I think it's like a safe, because you can get pulled out. And we'll have to live entirely on their own wits. To make sure these men at least have a fighting chance of survival, I've ensured the island's got enough water, indigenous animals and vegetation on it to keep them alive. It's teeming with wildlife. But what they've got to have is the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. What's your name, mate? Oh. Paul. Oh, I'm Ross. Paul. Hello, Ross. All right. Wait, it's how does it makeshift heat packs? Wouldn't the piss get cold? From here on in, everything you see will be filmed by the men themselves. Why don't we get everybody together and then we're just all talking, we'll work out something that we're going to do and then we're, we're all going to be heading that way, I'm assuming, anyway, because it looks a little bit safer than this, because it'd be dark. So. My point is, what goal are they really get? It's just to survive, though, because in the highlight one, I saw they were moving around all the time. It's like, is there a reason? Like, is there a goal? I'm Yes. Come on, lads, let's make use of some of this energy while we've got it. All of the men will film, but four of the group are trained and experienced camera operators. I'm Ross. Sam. How you doing, buddy? Who'll be living under exactly the same conditions as everyone else. Damn, thanks for the follow, significant viewer. Welcome to Delinquents. Yeah, but no, I meant later on, they move around a lot. Like a fucking mule yeah. horse, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the brain of a donkey obviously because we are having to film everything ourselves we've got a cart all of like the camera gear batteries and everything with us yeah. Yeah. let's get on with it yeah shelter water food fuck's sake this is survival not good morning britain as well as the camera equipment they'll have a medical kit two jerry cans containing a day supply of water basic fishing why jerry cans okay equipment and a handful Wait, of tools what? Guys, how many knives do we have? Let's count them in. Three yeah? knives, three machetes. Fine. Three right. knives, that's okay. easy. <laughs> it's all gathered around him. They all didn't get their own knives. To be fair, I feel like this is cheating, kind of. You go with, so, like, knives and stuff. One group, guys. <laughs> I'm Barney, and I'm a paramedic from, uh, from Leicester. You happen to have everything that's survival? He does have a mega chin. I thought you guys were being crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm Andy Bennett, builder for Milton Keynes. We've got a fucking builder, everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Sophie's not a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Piers, I am a doctor. Yeah. yeah, a doctor, yay! <laughs> With water and place it above the fire. True, I guess it was important for it to be metal, so it's, you know, solving stuff. I'm Kyle, and I'm a website consultant. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> They did not give a shit because it's so not helpful. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> My name's Paul. I'm, uh, I invented the dice. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a construction contract manager. It's 4 pm. With only two hours of daylight remaining, the men's priority has to be finding a safe place to shelter for the night. Yeah. I like how you say when, not if. It's if, Roxas, <laughs> not when. <laughs> but yeah, like that's kind of the thing a lot of people have completely useless jobs. But to be fair, to a certain extent, even like builders, because they build on modern things, like they don't cut the wood, they don't, they use metal brackets once you can't make them. It's kind of, <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, a cherry pick team. If exactly. they can't, they'll have to sleep rough on the jungle floor. Alongside potentially dead. So they don't get sued, guys. No one wants to get sued. 
Pardon me. Sea scorpions, snakes, and caiman crocodiles. We're assuming that the, the north, north side, side of the one island one. would be nice, beachy, sandy, okay. flat seas. Paul thinks the group's best option is a beach. Let's go. And he's convinced. Well, that you would want access to a beach because fish is definitely probably the easiest food if you can do it right. Why well, am is that useful in the apocalypse? Yeah, truck driver wouldn't be super useful either. Like, honestly. They have time to cross the island to find one before dark. Who else was imagining sunny beaches when they thought about coming out here? These trees here are very sharp. Oh! There you go. Yeah, they have all the potential gear too. So it's not really as apocalyptic, but it's at least survival-ish. I believe it will now be referred to as the porcupine tree. I'm assuming to have they want access to the water. Vicious. Do you, the real thing is in these situations, if you didn't have fishing gear, could you catch a fish? That's the difficult part, but I'm pretty sure they have some sort of gear. The interior of the island is three square kilometres of mangrove swamp and unbroken jungle. And I know from experience that moving through dense island undergrowth is slow, exhausting work. You would do all you can. Yeah, it's like playing Minecraft, guys. <laughs> you need somewhere to sleep so you're safe from the elements and animals and stuff. Water is next because you get dehydrated first and then food. Food is actually last. Gonna stop you in your tracks. And often the harder you push, the harder... Yeah, but can you catch something with a spear? Because, yeah, you can make a spear, but it's actually a bit of a skill thing to use a spear to catch a fish. <laughs> harder it pushes back. Whoa, well, stop! Yeah. There's a snake down here. It's a boa, isn't it? Take its head off if it's a decent size, mate. Get stuck in. Is anyone going to help me? I'm trying to carry a bag and a machete and kill a snake. He's looking pretty aggressive. He's coiling, isn't he? I need a long stick just to put on its head. Mind your... No, don't, 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 don't do that, for fuck's sake. Listen, should we just throw this case on it? No. Part of me thinks, should we just leave it? Didn't even flinch, did it? Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. And if we don't get out of this shrub, we're going to be sleeping here tonight. Ain't safe. True, true. Protein? <laughs> That's not a rule in the real world. Aussies would get no sleep if that rule was... What? That's not cool. <laughs> With just an hour to go until nightfall, the men have covered barely 400 metres. Paul? Yes? You going to come and get a drink? The darker it's getting, the more it's getting a little bit worrying. I'll tap on it when you're done. Yeah. Somehow I've fallen into chief navigator mode, but I'm on it. My days are very stressful. It really doesn't fucking matter. I don't give a fuck. A lot of the time I think that most people are fucking idiots. Just get that load out, get that load out. You can't build the internal walls anyway. Being called a bastard is just a friendly greeting in the building industry. Get in there and get it done. This experience might change me. I like the emo music because he's a builder. Like, life is so mi miserable. I'm a building manager with a wife and child. You make some of the best money and you have a wife and... Fucking let me play the world's smallest violin, man. Like, <laughs> like, I, I just, like, I understand they're rough as guts, 100%. But, like, he's acting like he's forever alone in poverty or something in his life is horrible. It's like, bro, so, your life could be a lot of people's dream. Hopefully for the better, yeah, it might only just... be a little bit more tolerant of other people. Come on, fuckers. This is going to take us fucking hours. He says that too, like it's a bad thing, and then he does it himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's about to get darker and darker as yeah, well. Yeah, I know, so that's why we've just got to just get through it. We need to start to think, hey, do we want to be hacking through this stuff when it's pitch black? Or at the next time we see a clearing, are we going to think about... Bro, you wait, live way better than Dell? Son of a bitch. Don't, I just feel like you're saying that because I don't have a baby and it's going to be like, as a woman, your life is like miserable without a baby. Or maybe I've just been made fun of my guy friends too much because I was like showing them piece, pictures of one of my nieces and they were like, oh, Del just wants a baby because women want babies. Selling like, down for the that? night. Oh, I personally <laughs> want to just plow on and make it. I mean, it's going to get darker in here quicker than it is on the beach. I say we plow on. This is crazy. This is absolutely... Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I funnel probably. <laughs> crazy. 
<laughs> I don't know what to say right now. I never had the money to go travelling. I've never done anything that's been a bit sort of edgy, that's been a bit dangerous, I guess. I don't think I'm as confident as I say I am, and I think a lot of what I do can be a front. I feel, I like that his statement's very real, you know, I haven't travelled, I wish I had done more dangerous things. I feel like there's a real, real statement to want to do this stuff. The sort of persona of, of alpha male to me is everything. Oh no! Is everything my stepdad was. Why is it always alpha male? <laughs> uh, but do you know that this has became a trend? A lot of guys go in a group and do a survival camping trip where they like do it survival style and it's like a dude bonding experience. It's actually become a trend. I saw enough of him growing up to realize who not to be. I guess it's time to find out who I really am. Keep coming, we're only 100 meters away! I keep saying it's like the beach is 100 meters away. I'm sort of getting a little bit pissed off because I've been walking for about fucking miles and it's not here. The temperatures are free. At the back, 51 year old builder Andy is struggling to keep up. At the moment, it's like every man for himself. For fuck's sake. First. Cut. Yeah, that's the thing that's crazy is like stuff like this. It's, it's the same. When you think about how much you just get hit and nicked in your own home, how much you would actually get hurt just walking through a forest. We have made any ground and we are all fucked. If Joe, gets more oxygen. Stop Randy and help you. Yeah. He's carrying a really awkward. He's carrying a really awkward box on his own. I know it's a ball eight kid, but you're carrying one of the fucking easiest things in the world as heavy as it is. I know it's heavy. I'm a fuck, pal. No, I'm not. But it's easy. You want to carry this bag? It's fucked. I'll swap you now, mate. If you want. Already windy. At the front. See, I kn the video was already kind of biased because I made it sound like the guys never fought or win. Look at them whingy. <laughs> oh my god. Mac, though, you worthless beach. I can't actually do it in this because it's going to a, a YouTube channel, but worthless. Uh, that's just for you. What the hell? What the hell? But yeah, anyone who does barbecue with their family, that's true survival mode because you have to fight for the steaks, you know? <laughs> front, Paul pushes on despite the group's growing descent. We got lights in those cameras, Sam. Bit of infrared. How you doing, mate? Some people ain't playing ball. In what way? What do you mean? Well, cracking on with fuck all, you know? We could all do that, like a hero with a machete. Come on, fuck's sake. I know we all want to get on, but... You've got to think of everybody else now. We're a team. You can't just be selfish, you know? Kind of like the point I, I I make with a lot of these stuff. A lot of people just edit the things they don't like out of to make their point. But yeah, why is he just walking carrying nothing? He's just like saying, "Oh, I'm the leader and I'm directing them," but he's not carrying everything. Anything. Oh, it was a bit of light. Look, <laughs> this is amazing. I found the sea. Kind of just left everyone behind. Yeah, he 100% thinks he's a leader, but he's not keeping track of his team at all. Ah. 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 Yeah, go beat. Come on! Hey, boy! Come on! Booyah! Beach! <laughs> Pina coladas. <laughs> yeah, but you should still carry something. People are dying in the back having to carry everything. You can carry something other than a machete. Thanks for the follow, Pleb Roblox. Welcome in. That one cringy AI voiceover was based on for a different season. Yeah! Was it a different season or this season? I thought it was this season was the one that it was based on. Or the, I, I actually don't know. I did the man vs. woman one because they were all different seasons. But they weren't all men vs. women? I'm not sure. I only just had to walk straight. <laughs> Exactly! They have some of the oldest people carrying the most. <laughs> He's carrying the responsibility. Yeah, this is season two. I didn't actually know if they were all men versus women. Let's see how this thing worked out. They did season one, but they all look different to me. Fuck! 
I never thought I'd be so happy to see the beach in my entire life. Well done, mate. Well done. Yeah. These are men versus women, too. <laughs> but this is season two. <laughs> Nice one, mate. Oh. Never doubted myself. Never, never underestimate your own abilities. <laughs> the sun's just beginning to set, so we're just in time. And everyone is on such a high right now. I thought they were British in that other season too, or my cray cray. But who goes swimming just before That's the sun sets? They're, they're gonna freeze their ass off. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're still here watching the sunset, and there's whales swimming past us. Pretty cool. <laughs> Don't get that often, do you? Where's the women? This is supposed to be men versus women. You're right. About two minutes sleep, I think, one time. 16 hours ago, I dropped 14 ordinary British men on a remote I desert island. I've been slept for a minute. They can't spent believe this. Men first? What the hell? Last night on the beach with <laughs> no fire. shelter. Yep. Oh, they're really shit. <laughs> oh, what have we done? <laughs> oh, they obviously get more clothes too. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get that realisation? Yeah, it's not a different episode. You've done so. something you didn't quite think all the way through. At one point, I was shitting it, we're going to get washed away. I was like, Oh, uh, why didn't they censor his butt crack? Oh, well, 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 you can see the line, mate. You can see the line. The yeah, line's like, what? The full bastard. He's getting the interview and his butt's just in there. Look at that. Yeah, they um, said at the beginning they're dropped on different islands. Rubbish on this beach. Has anyone found a left shoe? Yeah, but these, I'm not too sure if I'm going to go for these. What? Oh, you. A bit last season. Hey, lads, look. Oh. Found it. Pink pair. Yeah. <laughs> these are bloody comfortable. There's so much trash washed up boys. on this beach. This is the male version. <laughs> <laughs> the men came onto the island. Um, okay, if they left garbage on this from last season, what dicks? They're supposed to clean up. This is an untouched island around New Zealand and Australia. They're supposed to clean up. They shouldn't just fucking leave trash there. If they did that, I hope they get punched. The, the crew that makes this. That's rude as fuck. With just a day's supply of drinking water. Little mouthfuls. But after yesterday's arduous trek in 34 degree heat, it's all but gone. Tropical storm season, really, there shouldn't be any shortage of water on the island. And obviously rain itself is drinkable without purification. But once it hits the ground, it becomes contaminated. Okay. All sorts of bacteria and nasty... More trash. Look at all this trash. Island's covered yeah, from in experience, trash. I can tell you, animals aren't fussy about where they crap. Oh, oh my god. The amount of crap that's in there. That's fucking horrible. Without boiling, this rancid water yeah, would almost. It, I can't believe he licked it. Yeah, it really depends in what country, because some countries, the rain kicks up a lot of like. Certainly gems. give the men stomach cramps and diarrhea. It's not salty, but. I'll tell you what, I've had hangover shits that smell better than that. Guys, can we... Like why do we, why do we all kind of gather in and have some sort of conflag about what we're going to do today? Yeah, I think that might be a very good right. idea, Piers. Go on, guys, gather round. Right, plan of action, lads. Yeah. We 100% need to try and make a fire now. If we don't make a fire and yeah. something to boil new water, we are going to be in bad shape by tomorrow morning. Food is becoming a priority very quickly for a lot of people. We're going to have to get something substantial to eat fairly soon. Right, meet the adjourn. They talk Can't about that, not how they're going to do it. So, Let's go. The men decide to split up. Having eaten nothing since they arrived, the majority of the group head off to look for food, while engineer Dan and builder Andy take on the fire lighting. It's quite a lot of pressure. <laughs> That's just details for later. To get this fire going. You're down? Dying. I'm up, yeah. We learned how to do this in school. Um, a lot of Native Australians would come by and teach us how to do Hi. this. What do you mean? Awesome. That is not an ideal start, is it? That is one stroke. You don't actually need the stick. You can You can just do it with, uh, you put a hole in the wood and a straight stick and rub it back and forwards, but you need some sort of good fire starter. They use uh, a bit of, like... Usually, like, the fluff from trees are very easily in these areas, like, ripped 
and you can make a good like starter. Yeah. Oh, lads. I shot my load. Yeah. It does need to be shaved. Coconuts? Yes, about... coconuts. We saw that one the last time. Oh, six, maybe ten snails. I, I'm not saying I was great at it, but like it, you, it is the easiest way I find. And don't say like Dell wants to start fires, but like I would start a lot of like fires in Australia because we used to clear fields like this. I was actually like raised in some farming area. So that's why I know some of this too. But <laughs> starting fires was my past time as a child. This shit, yeah? <laughs> Along the coast, 47-year-old Vic <laughs> has decided to put Joe... Yes, group... hair would actually kind of work too. It'd smell like ass, but yeah, if you're desperate, you could cut off your uh, some hair to do it because it's very dry. But it burns really quickly, so you may not get the wood lit on fire because your hardest thing is getting the fire to spread to other wood. Like youngest little, member like, to work. Up. We should definitely put some yeah, shoes on. Yeah, you need quite a bit of hair. That might have been a wise idea, fella. Oh! Just anything, limpets, crabs, give yeah. a crack, snails. You spot them, fella, and I'll them. You would still need very thin wood for it to spread to. So they should be drying a lot of wood, ideally. Do these snails bite? I feel so some of the legs are going to come out of there, innit? And nip it. Don't put your finger where you want to put your dick, because it might get bit. <gasps> Fire tornado. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is how the nearest we get to Michelin star. Will we put it on a bed of anything? What the fuck is that? They do have knives. A morning's hard graft provides nothing more than a handful of limpets. Give it a good old cheer. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, tough. <laughs> limpets. Ah. Horrendous. You don't buy them in supermarkets, do you? But, so they're not known for being very nice. I don't think they're very nice at all. Yeah, obviously, I think fruit or veg finding a fruit in this area would be the best. For now, meal. the men will have to go hungry. There we go, they're doing Stop. it. Who said there's no smoke without fire? Lying bastards. <laughs> Players pissed me off a little bit. Yep. I just don't know what we're doing wrong. You have no tinder. He has no tinder there. So he's trying to like start a fire on a thick piece of wood. So. Lighting a fire has become an urgent priority. It's 34 degrees in the shade, and the men have had little to drink in the past 12 hours. We've literally, we've got no water. None at all. No. Hey, look, stolen piss. welcome in. 20 minutes ago, it was like pissing lime yeah, gold. Yeah, all the wood's just way too thick. Hey, zombie, welcome in, boy. Even if the Brits find it's because it must taste really bad. Oh my god! Brutalized. I have to push it out. <laughs> no, homie. Yeah, it looked like it was. They were just trying that. to st start the fire directly onto a log, which is like hard mode. Very difficult. It's not viscous and clear. No, it's definitely not. The men Apparently are they were trained beforehand. Hey, uh, thanks for the follow to the, and welcome to Del Del Linquid's Life Stolen. Yeah, apparently they got a training thing before this, but I wonder if they left things out for tension. <laughs> Starting to show the telltale signs of that, serious that dehydration. Thirsty. Piss. Really bloody thirsty. Yeah. He's gone out it. Fuck all. The vultures are circling already. <laughs> <laughs> Can you look at the size of that? Jesus. That's prehistoric. But to be fair, that's the good thing about being in Australia. There's plenty of dry stuff everywhere to start a fire. <laughs> Everything's How about your so glasses? dry. Do you reckon we keep... can, I, can I try your glasses? Try it. Right, yeah. yeah. With their need for fire now critical, web consultant Kyle has an idea he wants to try. There we go. We've got Andy's glasses. Just basically using the sun to focus on one... Smart ass. Oh, everyone's going to laugh at the d d consultant, but honestly, with the Tinder, they probably could have started with the stick too. Everyone when laughs. It's given us quite a lot of heat. Come on. Come on. Don't think that's going to work, the old glasses. Oh, come on, I see a flame. Let go, let go. Oh, yep, yep, breathing. The breathing is really important. 
Get a little sticks, preparation. Where's the next one? Where's the rest of the shit? Where's the rest of the stuff? Sticks. Fucking sticks. Get up there. 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 Get up Go hard. Go hard, he'll go. It. Come on. That's it. Come on, it's nigga there. Keep going. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got it, you got it. It's so exciting. Keep going. The little twigs. Yeah, the twigs. Yeah, and then you want to build up your fire some Oh, you all. <laughs> Bingo, well done you two. It was Kyle that started it. Good. Thank you, Buster, for at least a minute. Well, actually, I posted a schedule on here, eh, on Twitch, and on Discord, sucker. He showed me the one, and I followed through. I see, we've done well, we got there. Absolutely brilliant, and well done. What a dark Oh, yeah, the you pole. do not want to breathe in when you're setting that, 100%. We all take you back Hi, the IT guy. <laughs> yeah, the simple things are exciting. Everyone wants to poke jokes that I used to start fires as a kid while on farms and stuff. But there's something really exciting about getting the fire going, okay? <laughs> yes! Well done, Kyle. <laughs> After eight hours of trying, the men finally have a fire on which to boil the stagnant water. I'm going to drink and drink and drink until my piss runs clear. And your verdict is, I mean, it's almost oh my not God. normal water. It's a bit... What kind of statement? I'm going to piss and piss. Oh, no, not piss. I'm going to drink and drink and drink until my piss runs clear. What a statement. Oh, my God. If sort of pond in there. That is, that is top Yes, water. bonfire. I shouldn't have been encouraging this, but yeah, I've done that too. We did this thing when I was a kid with my sisters where we would put big, big bonfire and then put logs over it. Then you'd run across like in those... um shows where you like tried to have the walk over the crawls but instead he had to like barrel roll across it <laughs> it's like my way tea as long as the fire stays lit the men will have a source of safe drinking water just after that just after that what an achievement there but keeping it alight during tropical storm season will be a huge challenge shit look at that right oh uh, yeah so look like right there Tropical paradise. Oh, five in my eight oh, man. <laughs> Fire bugs, all of us. <laughs> no, that's the thing. You just put thick enough wood on and, and you go over it. So it, they were quite hot and they were like long enough to have a running path. So it was a big fire. You just need thick enough stuff and then you start the game quick enough. There. Shithole. Shit. No balls. That's a thing. That's a thing. You just have to know. You just have to run quick enough and you're fine. <laughs> It's like Waitrose and Audi, all in one picture. Oh, what yeah. I'm worried about is everyone's off doing other things, and in a minute it's going to be pissing down with rain. I actually think it'd be quite important to build a shelter for the fire. Yeah. I, I've not got the energy to build a shelter or anything at the moment. If I could, I would, I promise you. A little bit worried about Andy. He uh, seems to have separated himself from the group a little bit. Um, when everybody's together, he walks off. He's now making a bed over there, which just seems a bit childish. Um, feels like he doesn't want to be part of the group. Hey ho, got a bed. All I want to do at the moment is get some sleep. Just some, you know? Weird. Why? You would want to sleep with around the people, like, not by yourself. Um, is our she chief fire starter and fire protector now survival so you keep them. Well, that's the thing. You can also say it's genetic because the people who used to keep the fire going through medieval times and stuff, I think, was women too. It's why women also started once we had homes staying in the home because someone had to stay and keep a fire going. <laughs> so you can say, like, of course she can start fires. She's a woman. <laughs> I think middle age has made me boring. I've got a beautiful wife, lovely house, nice job, <laughs> etc. All the stuff that most people strive to get. <laughs> Traditional. And yet, I'm still searching for something. Perhaps 
all men get like that, I don't know. Perhaps I'm at a midlife crisis. I don't like myself as much as I used to, put it that way. I think I need to, a new adventure. Why do all these guys don't to, like themselves? Put that right. Oh. Oh. Arson is fun. <laughs> My God, guys. You gotta make it sound like I'm encouraging fires. Oh. Oh. Only set safe fires, guys. Oh. An hour before sunset. True, true. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, women mainly did the fires at home. Like, blacksmith fire is not a fire to warm the home or cook food. That's like for a very specific job, and that's more like Iron Age, not survivalist. The uh, the heavens have opened as expected. We've got a fire going. Yeah, but we've got a Which is brilliant. However, it is now pissing down with rain. Also, you wouldn't want a blacksmith level of heat coming from your home fire, that's for sure. <laughs> You'll melt your face. We've got no cover over it whatsoever. I know, I we've got it, nowhere yeah. to sleep whatsoever. So I would say our priority is shelter. Honestly, in the What's to survive? We need to cover up that, the that's what we were talking about earlier, that this is actually a trend with some guys like to go on survival camping trips, like as a bunch of guys and just be crazy. Yeah. Uh, welcome in, Burkett. Fucking fire, because it's gonna go out. Without the fire, the men will have no means I of pure- I has a lisp still on my S. I can't get rid of it. I- I've just given up. I- I've gotten rid of all my other lisp, but I can't get rid of the S. Refying water to drink. <laughs> Who is doing the leaves? Is anybody getting the leaves to cover this? That is going out in about half an hour. Yeah. Huh. Clusterfuck. Or foobar. I don't know what the correct military term is. So okay. now we've got- a big enough fire, it can kind of stay up with the rain, but if it's pouring down like this, like in a rainforest, yeah, you're so boned, you need something covering it. Got a million people trying to do a million things. Hopefully we'll have a million answers. So I was just fucking mad. Ooh, I'm gonna need a link to that manga, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, in the Discord, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, rain is absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. You don't ever see rain like this in the UK. Absolutely, completely stoking. Does it? I thought it rained a lot in the UK because this is how it kind of rains in Oz. But I think it's just because we have like such dry seasons and then heavy rain. It, but is it just more consistent in Britain? PM. The men are still desperately trying to make a watertight shelter to save their fire. Over and under. That's it. Yeah, I don't think they did the palm tree part thing as quick enough. I don't know. See if we can bend it, Mark. In this part of the Pacific, storms can last for days and dump inches of rain in an hour. Yeah, that is the thing. You don't want to risk it. Even if it could, under light rain, survive, you won't find anything to restart it. Once it's out, it's out. And that's why it's such a big deal to keep your fire going consistently because it's a pain in the ass to restart it. Hey, Malum, it's just easier to take care of your fire. <laughs> yeah. It's a great night. Obviously, we're, we're staying dry under the yeah, shelter that exactly. we made. Because too much smoke, it will smother the fire. Too. We made it, otherwise we'd be absolutely saturated right now. The roof might need possibly a, a tweak or two. There is a minor bit of snagging before practical completion. It's just... Okay, imagine doing this and they just forgot to record all of it and they're like, where's our show? <laughs> <laughs> Something simple like perhaps taking the whole fucking thing down and redoing it. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone checked on Andy? Oh, good call. Andy! 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 We've got a headlight, guys. Andy chose to not help the group in any way, shape or form mm. and went off on his own. Andy's here. Vic, Andy's here under the tree. I think Andy needs to get a little bit more involved with us all, to be honest. We're gonna have the AI generated. <laughs> it absolutely pissed down last night. Yeah, there's it... four guys they switch between the cameras. Everyone was awake. And yeah, starting just... drama. So wet through. I was sat there and I was just thinking, what am I doing here? I feel kind of pissed. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I feel like 
I've had a couple of pints. Can't move. He's my high. Leg. He's high off the hormone zone. Survive! <laughs> His fight, fight off lights kicking in. <laughs> I've set up. I just can't move. Is the bed paralyzed you? Yeah. That's great. Completely numb from cocked down. 6 a.m. Last night, a violent tropical storm battered the island. Okay, I do wonder if this is trash left there or this just trash rust washed up from our oceans because we're filthy. After a desperate struggle, the group managed to save their fire with a small temporary shelter. Carbon but the men themselves <laughs> had no protection from the elements. Video diary. I don't know what day it is. I don't know if it's day two or day three. Yeah. Still no sleep after. Kind of sad to see so much trash. I think I've had about, honestly, swear to God, an hour of sleep. I can't do it. I've, I've got to think about myself now, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've been up all fucking night. I'm a mess because of it. Sleep really is critical to survival because it affects our physical and our mental health. Uh, when you get enough of it, it helps your body to recover, to heal, you process thoughts, process memories. I'm not saying they're soft for quitting day two, but... <laughs> but when you don't get enough of it, that's when you become careless, it affects your decision-making abilities, and it can even lead to depression. Yeah, he was sleeping in the afternoon too, like, bro. <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just thinking it. I'm just thinking it. Like these young blokes are sleeping through the water <laughs> and stuff, and like he's like I had an hour sleep. At the moment, with the mentality of it all, you know what I mean. I think you got you got to get yourself in like a yeah, exactly in the zone, as it were. And I'm struggling to find the zone at the moment. I'm really worried about Joe. Yeah, it took a whole day to make that fire. Like, because they did barely found any food and they didn't make any shelter. Just kind of wandering around. They're being a bit slack here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, honestly, yeah, I feel like there's enough of them. They should have split them up in a little bit better groups. Sitting down, head in his hands. Yeah, that's the thing. What were the rest doing? Kind of, looks like he's feeling sorry for himself, really. And he's, he's obviously messing home. What's her name? Charlotte. <sighs> you miss her, mate, don't you? So we made it in two. <sighs> Day two, and he's missing the misses. Oh my god. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> miss my girlfriend, bro. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Best thing that happened to me, huh? Aww. How long have you been together? Five years. Ah, oh, come, come on, that's First sweet. time ever, because I met her that I've gone 24 hours without speaking to her, so... Oh, he misses her! <laughs> come on, dude, hug it out! <laughs> Bro hugs! Oh my god! It's so sweet, I'm so pleased. <laughs> you'll be fine, mate, you'll be absolutely fine, promise you. Can't fine. relate! Honestly. Hug. He's that homie that hugs everyone. Bro hug! <laughs> Jumps in! Where to find girl? <laughs> if I don't have a good night's sleep fairly soon, I'm gonna end up throttling someone in. So good, oh, you used to be I'm, not, I'm not joking. Get them, I'm, like, I'm... You may not think about how much you miss them if you're with them all the time. I know a lot of guys don't realise how much they miss their spouses until they have to go without them for a while. You know what I mean? I want a bed to sleep in. I'm not gonna get soaking wet. Exactly, yeah. The group are relying on their two builders, Andy and Paul, to construct a new watertight shelter. But yes. both have a very different idea about where to put it. We need to pick a location to build this shelter on. Correct. We have two potential locations. Uh, Andy, is your place on the beach? Yeah. We can clear these little bits of thicket and brush easily. Yeah. Look, we've got a pit there for a fire pit. This is absolutely perfect camp. The job's good. Is this, this, this is not Andy's, is it? You're more exposed to the tides, you're more exposed to the weather, and we're going to get bitten to smotherings by sandflies. It's not an option. No way. Andy's camp, it looks like it'll flood it with tidal surge, there's plastic bottles everywhere, I think we'll get bitten to shit. Pointless, give me my opinion, mate. Fucking nobody listened to fucking me. I would love to have come down here for Andy's sake and gone, 
this is fucking brilliant, mate. Yeah. But the trouble is, we walked in here, and it, I, did, I kept my mouth shut, but within 30 seconds, everyone went, are you fucking joking? I'm a builder. People get me in to fix anything. Customers phone me up to put their IKEA bedroom stuff together. It's like, well, fuck you then. With that... <laughs> I don't think, uh, I, I, there's a lot of builders on here, it's like putting Ikea together is not the same as picking a good spot. Uh, especially seeing modern building is about like changing the land to fit you compared to pre, like medieval where you choose land that is good. Like with, through modern technology, we can do a lot with crap land. Andy site rejected. Paul shows the men his preferred location. Being with girls is watching V2. Oh my god. Guys, no. <laughs> because it's elevated. This Yeah, I can't even say I'm a builder off that because I can't put together my furniture well. <laughs> it's not really I'm gonna sad. get that wet. <laughs> Got a fairly good canopy. We can all sleep. I'm literally here. putting together the new desk, I'm putting it off because I'm worried I'll fuck it. <laughs> yeah. On the dry. Correct. You've got a nice little breeze coming through as well. Yeah, I like this place. Right, what do you want me to do, Paul? Well, what we need now, cross members. I'm pissed about Paul being a volcanic rhinoceros, but you know what? He's single-minded, but he makes clear decisions and sticks by them. And yeah. he's been right more than he's been wrong so far. Ah! We're fucking saved. We'll be all right now. Knew there was power on the island. Oh, I find it. Yeah, using the trees is the the smartest way. Just layer them until it's mostly waterproof. I'm a bit shocked how um, <laughs> difficult how, how difficult it's been. We're all here doing the same shit. Yeah, we're yeah, all yeah, not yeah. sure whether we should see it, Bush. Determined to boost Joe's morale and keep his mind off home, father of three, Vic, has asked him to join in with the shelter build. It's a challenge. A fucking challenge. We'll adapt to all this quicker than I any know, of us. No, there's so much garbage. Well, Far quicker. This is really making me like think of the environment a lot. <laughs> like, man, <laughs> we need to be cleaner as a species. Look at this. We've rocket ruined this beach, even though no one lives here. <laughs> it's a case of making sure everybody guides everybody else to, in the right direction. I, I, I do firmly believe. Yeah, if you can find some trees to at least pull down, it'll save you some time. We will become an excellent team uh, to the point of becoming almost like a tribe. <laughs> Let me just say, building camp. Yeah, he needs to get into it, kind of like. The top of a steep hill, in the middle of rainy season, is the stupidest idea ever had. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And I'm obviously the weakest link. Joe, you're not the weakest link, you're just missing home. It's a, it's a natural thing to feel. Yeah. I think some people do think I'm the weakest link, mate. I don't do you think, think that. I don't think No, that. but I think you do. Do you think so? Hey, yeah. Didi, welcome in. Crikey, what's made you think that? Day one when I met you, you've been shouting orders at me. I'm assuming, yeah, I thought it would be like half-half, but I guess maybe if the next day don't. No. But we're carrying stuff in and out of a jungle, and I've got a really heavy rucksack on my back, and you're saying, Joe, I think it's a good idea if you do this. Joe, I think it's a good idea if you do that. Now, you've not been shouting okay. orders at anyone else, but I think you feel that I'm the youngest, therefore, naturally, you've got some authority over me. No, he's, okay, he's dadding him. That's the thing. He's taking it as, like, an authority thing, but he's looking out for him because he's dad moding him. And that's been grinding on me a little bit. Joe intimated that I'd been giving him a hard time, which I truly have only tried to be positive with everybody. I was mm. devastated. Oh, You've been aggressive. You are. You've been passive-aggressive, and that's not fair. All right? It's he just told me I'm being passive-aggressive or having a laugh. The, the reason they put it up on the hill is so they won't get any tide problems or stuff. However bad your situation is. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people get rid of their frustrations by picking a fight. It's more, way more common than it probably should be. Can't wallow in negativity. You know, survival is about dogged determination, exactly. learning from your failures and never giving up. And Churchill once said a great quote. He said, if you're going through hell, keep going. If balls are doing the backstroke in a bucket of sand. That's a, I'm assuming that's a bottle with a note. I'm hungry, I'm tired. And all that's going through my head is, I don't, I don't self-harm at home, so why the hell am I self-harming out here? 6 a.m. I've never been in an environment where last night... I don't know how 
how they have time to winch. Like, anytime I used to do stuff like this on farm, it's like you had, like, you need to work to eat and stuff like that, and you have to start fires. Like, we had, like, one of those old wooden stoves. You had to start the fire in the stove, like, physically and stuff. Like, you don't have time to winch, usually. <laughs> you hear a thunderstorm, and it's now daylight, and it's still like, thundering. This is going to be day three, and they have no food. And it's still raining. Overnight, torrential rain has once again battered the island. The men have managed to protect the fire, but their spirits are low. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bit... You have time to lean, you have time to clean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Mind boggling that you I'm have very this curious much. if you put a bunch of Asian mums on these islands, what would happen? <laughs> rain is so long, it just keeps coming. <laughs> Yesterday, the men started work on a new shelter. But only half built, it was no match for the elements. <laughs> Emotional damage. I massively underestimated this place. Massively. I'm so skinny and I've been. Forget. You know damn well they'll get shit done though, like, right? <laughs> like. Last night when I got my first hunger rumble, food's playing on my mind a lot more. It's hard. One kid, no, don't hurt the kids like that. This is. Apocalyptic weather. But we all know that, like, those mums that, like, get up at 5 a.m. and they've cleaned the entire house, cooked breakfast, started prepping meals, have gardened and everything, and you're just, like, barely waking up at 9 a.m. and they're like, we gotta get moving, half the stuff isn't done today, we're in a spring clean, and they're just doing fucking everything, and you're like, calm down, please. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're threatening to wash us out of this camp. <laughs> For the third night in a row, the men oh, have oh barely slept. Oh my god, slept. that'd be interesting. Ten salary men alone. The positive? It's daytime. I can see how crap it is. <laughs> Here in the tropics, when it rains... It's not just nice British drizzle. It's torrential. We can hardly hold a conversation. You've got to spend so much time and energy <laughs> trying to keep your fire <laughs> alight when you could be out there fishing or hunting or making shelters. However strong and determined. What if food falls down there? Then it will stink, guys. After a while, <laughs> it saps you. You know, it saps your spirit in the same way it saps a life out of a fire. I cannot face another <gasps> day on here. Oh, my God. I would watch the shit out of that if it was 10 CEOs of gang companies. Can we send the guy from Bungie here? <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I'm, I'm at the stage of almost a, a breakdown, to be totally honest. You just can't imagine how tough it is. Unbelievable. The island's youngest member, Joe, says he's had enough. Ten billion. Oh, Four that weeks. would be so sweet. But they would never agree. Six weeks, I don't think I'd ever make. The pain that I'm going to go through here, leaving the loved ones at home, Charlotte, all the rest of it. Then why did you sign up? I don't know. He's just wandering around, whinging. I feel bad for him because he's like... 10 a.m. Ah, yes, abandoned island. I love those things where they said uh, um, politicians should be forced to live in, like, on uh, welfare or, like, poverty line wages so they get a clue. I would watch the shit out of that, too. Finally passes. Determined to leave as soon as possible, graphic designer Joe uses the emergency... Because they, okay, it's because, like, there's different levels of criminals... And that's literally what Australia and America was. <laughs> we're just where they said criminals. <laughs> and it's because, like, you, you're, like, sending someone who stole something to the same island you se send, like, a serial killer. <laughs> like, Satellite like, oh. radio <laughs> to request an evacuation boat. I just really strongly believe that <laughs> as a person, physically, mentally, and all the rest of it, I'm not going to make the rest of the time on the island. And I've not made any rash decisions because I'm aware that you can make decisions in the heat of a moment. And I haven't. I just really fancy a margarita pizza. I really feel like a pizza. I do get that. He, it's four days and he's barely... They barely had any food. How, like, they've wasted so many dead. Like, they've made half a roof. Yeah, I feel like the thing getting to them is also the no food. Half a roof, no food, and they have water. That's it. Joe wants to go home. I can't believe it. 
He's not been here four days. We've not even started. He wants to go home. Joe has agreed to stay on the island for another 24 hours before making a final decision about whether he wants to leave. Yep, you want it there, Mark? Cook it. Is it long enough? Um, no. You can go halfway there. See, that's the thing. People meme on the girls on the survival island, but a lot of them stayed there, like, literally starving to death. At least a lot of them weren't quitters. <laughs> they weren't good at it, but at least they didn't quit, you know? <laughs> like, they weren't quitters. <laughs> they had the right idea, but they had no skills. <laughs> like, you know, back it off. In the jungle, <laughs> work continues on the shelter. Can you, um, get that any higher? The group have persuaded Andy to help out, hoping the prospect of a dry night will encourage him to stay. Yeah, one there. Yeah. And then one down here. Right, so not there then. Hey? So not there then. I didn't say to put it there. The whole reason I said I don't want to tie a sled knot in this piece because we need to get the piece of wood in there first. Paul is a project manager in a construction company and Andy is a builder. Them two personalities just clash because one wants to tell the other one what to do and then this one wants to tell this one what to do. All yeah. we need to do is tie this on here, please. That's all we need to do. Yeah, but where's the bit of wood? Because I'm not tying a fucking knot if there ain't a bit of wood in it. Look, that ain't going nowhere. That's the shape I want. Andy really has a massive problem with me. Everybody's been tiptoeing around him for the past four days. Um, it's not capable yet. It's just been a fucking prick. But what can you do? Something's going to explode at some point. Don't, what? Don't even start me, Oos. Now that's a bait. That's a bait, OK? <laughs> Since yesterday, Andy has been hinting that he too might request evacuation from the island. Why are you threatening to go home, Andy? All sorts of reasons, mate. Come on, spit us out. No, I don't need to. Why are you so aggressive? I'm asking you a civil no. question. Yeah, you've asked me it three times. The yeah, first time should have been enough, then the second time, now you're asking no, a fourth they were different time. Questions. And then you're, then you're calling me aggressive because yeah. I don't want to answer a question. That you've asked four times. I haven't asked it four times. You asked. You said, I said, why do you want to go? And you went, because I do. I went, well, give us a reason. You went, I'm not... I'm not really sure if they have to clean up the... It is pretty dirty already, this Don't place. Don't give you like, a reason. Exactly. They probably should. I said, so then, then you asked again. There must be a reason. And then you asked again. I didn't ask again, Andy. You did. What is the fucking matter with you? Nothing the matter with me, son. At all. Do we wedge that there and then prop it up? Whatever Andy wants to do. I've had enough. Hang on. They need your expertise. No, Roxas, I will not be baited. <laughs> Don't be. Stop trying to bait me. <laughs> I said, stop asking me. And he carried on asking me. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. With the camp's two builders walking off the job, construction of the shelter grinds to a halt. There's no doubt there's a lot of strong, pretty macho personalities on the men's island. And yeah, they're all trying to find their place in that pecking order. Uh, but the danger when you get these high pressure situations like this is that the alpha males start to compete instead of cooperate. Oh, oh no, he's saying it too. He's saying the alpha male too. And then the danger is it blows a whole Reek of oh, fuck off, guys. group of hearts. <laughs> Stop it. It's not a competition. Being organized, everything running efficiently. It's what I do. That ignorant twat They're wants to do it somewhere. his way. Yeah. And he hasn't got a fucking clue. It makes your head. It's like it wants to implode. Exactly. Seriously, my will is a punch to the throat. He's down, gone, finished. It's over with. I oh, my God. In my world, it's a punch to the throat. What dickheads. Yeah. I walk away. Happy days. Absolute dickheads. I can't do that yet. Bang, done. Fat cunt. You know what I mean? He is very aggressive. Yeah, that's the thing. This is the problem. They're both like very bossy. I would say the first guy that I thought was going to be the bossiest isn't the worst of the two. He's way worse. But yeah, they're both just like aggressively bossy. There's a lot of bad blood in camp. The chaos. No, no. Look. What are you, a fanfic writer? Like, <laughs> someone needs to be the alpha and someone needs to be Omega. I like to. <laughs> we need tops and bottoms, guys. Obviously, between Paul and Andy, we've got enough on our plate in this island without alpha male dick swinging. I think uh, yep. everyone just needs to man the fuck up, really. <laughs> I feel like every idea, mate, he's just there, ready to fucking knock, knock it down, you know, or criticise. There's 
You have no food. Stop whinging, guys. It's like, I think she's talking about sandwiches. Yeah. Shut up, guys. I oh my god. I actually am getting a little bit uh, nibbly, but I shouldn't because I had dinner before we started streaming, so. <laughs> it's my main problem. Huh? Ah, Kanda, what's the Omega versus? He's been around the block. <laughs> so. I overheard a conversation with Andy. His exact words were, if Paul leaves, that would be good because then I will stay. I'm not dealing with that sort of immaturity. He's supposed to be a grown man. I'm not being blackmailed. I don't need really to be surrounded by this immaturity. I might just have to go. Are you thinking about fucking off? Can't be fucking bothered. Mate, you can't go, mate. You literally can't go. Do you think that you would regret it later on? You will regret it. I think I won. Just suck it up, mate. Versus Lift up your skirt. Versus Watch the sand out of your vagina, mate. Yeah, well, this is the same series, but I, this is season two because the other ones didn't seem like they were men versus women or the right ones. But I could be wrong. So this is season two, episode one of men. The men arrive, men versus women. So they get put on different islands on this. In a disastrous turn of events, three men, yeah, including the island... Yeah, men and women on different islands, so I don't know if builders, this is the wrong season. Th I thought it was the same one we watched, but it could be wrong. Threatening to walk. Andy, Paul, and Joe Bye, all Hannah. want to leave this island. I'm amazed that they've come this far <laughs> yeah. and want to give up so early. A therapist he'll... As yet another storm hits the yeah, island, are... the men call a crime. The women are on the other island, I guess. Isis we only get meeting. them episode two. I know it sounds cutthroat, but we need to, to keep as many of those guys here as we can. But for any of them to change their mind is a win. There's been so much discussion about people leaving. My personal, personal opinion is that we are stronger together than we are apart. Yeah, they're acting like babies. I'm, my hope is that you might have thought We've differently We've already done overnight. this. I've already had the chat with everyone. People have already said their thoughts. I've already said my thoughts. But on that note, I will be saying no more. I'll just be waiting for the boat to arrive and to leave. OK? Paul, would you just let us know how you're feeling at the moment? I came to this island as a bit of a release, you know, to get away from my everyday life. Um, I'm not really confrontational. I don't like having arguments with people. I rather just step away from the situation. He says as the they final all argue with each other. Al in the coffin was to hear somebody say that it was good that I was going, which I thought was a bit of a shame, but in another way, it confirmed my decision. And um, in that I'll case, that's why I decided Stop to go. Stop trying to go with me. Stop trying to go with me. <laughs> One goes. There's no point in the other going. <laughs> right, here we go. How we make that decision... Here we go. This no is now idea. we're getting to the country. Yeah. He's segregated himself from the group yeah. from day one. We're having a discussion. He doesn't want to know. We haven't got any beds. He makes himself a bed. He goes off and sulks. Somehow, that's my fault. OK, I... We're so close to the end, but I can't have to pee. I can't hold on my pee anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. We're grabbing a blanket. Just slightly chilly. Got it. Eh. Eh. Okay, uh, yes. We got some chicken bakes. Yeah, I'm thinking about like having a sausage roll, maybe, as a snack or something. Well, a meal. <laughs> yes, I washed my hands on your mum's teddies. No, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, I lied. <laughs> See? Women lie like they breathe. I would wash my hands on your mother's titties. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I don't know why I keep saying sorry when I'm not. Sorry, guys. Hello, and look, welcome in, homie. What a time to come in. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I've had no sleep this whole day. Neither has anybody. Oh, but you no, you've been sleeping. Sorry, mate, you've been sleeping. Andy, nobody's had any sleep. You've been sleeping? Why are we accusing people of sleeping? Like, what is happening here? As a group, <laughs> no one here has had enough sleep to, to give them the- I don't assault people. Your mama wanted me to touch her too. I'm no, I'm gonna stop. To I'm gonna stop day. right, right so, there. I'm gonna stop. Are you pointing the finger at me and saying, "Well, you've had sleep"? Fine, that's your problem. Well, I've been having a laugh up until I heard one of my teammates say they wanted me to go. I was having a right crack. Why does he care? That's what I want to know. No, I'm not. In a community, not everyone gets mm. on, and that is a fact of life. Exactly. Sorry, not sorry. We can't change. Sorry. <laughs> so let's build our community. You and you, just keep keep your distance. At least we're together. We're two men up. We can build a shelter in a day rather than taking two days with two men down. The big strong man and the builder. If you two fuck off, then we're fucked, aren't we? See, I don't want to lose two builders, okay. regardless yeah. of your characters. <laughs> exactly. They got the right idea. Stop bitching and just work together, okay? It's that easy. It's that easy. He's rich enough to care. <gasps> we, we, we need you to stay. I'm going to walk away and then that would- Congratulations. I can't believe you guys would bring up my poverty like this. What the fuck? Can't believe this. How will I start my alpha male podcast saying I'm a millionaire if you guys point out I'm poor all the time, okay? Okay? Congratulations. <laughs> hopefully Andy can- No, listen. So Andy- can enjoy his experience and hopefully five then you're not losing two people are you you're losing one i'm leaving the island whether paul leaves or not whether paul leaves or not i would rather paul stay he's a stronger man than me he'll be more benefit to you but either way i'm sorry i'm going for him to fucking say i'm glad he's going good then i'll stay then all of a sudden he hasn't got his own way again and it's oh i'm going there's other reasons it's fucking immaturity. It's sulking and it's detention seeking. See, he's keeping the fight going, I feel like. It's like, I'll oh, do what you want, one dude. Yeah, we're, the woman episode's next, so we'll have to wait, seeing we have other things to watch. And you don't want this case going, I realize bollocks. this. I'm not having it. I, I am... wonder, actually, who does worse on this season, the man or the woman. I'm going off this island because I'm not being held responsible for that. End of story. <laughs> Next time on the Women's Here Island. Here we go. Oh, a huge fucking snake came just past me. Fucking hell. At the minute, we are barely coping with the situation in which we find ourselves. Barely. Well, oh, shit, no, wait, sit forward. We have nothing to drink. We don't know where we are. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Arundel is poor. What is real life? Is it even a real buddy policewoman? That's why I'm poor. I'm a police officer. I, I have bad monies. 